Create and organize tab groups in your Chrome browser. Now, Chrome comes with this built in, but you can also save these now by looking in a special location. So let's jump onto the computer. Now here you can see I have a number of tabs in front of me. I have this tab on Google Slides and an example of how I've used Google Slides to create an A4 template. That's part of one training session. Now I have another one, which is the Google Docs templates gallery. This is part of another training session later in the day that I'm going to do with colleagues and other teachers at school. And then I have these final four tabs that you can see. Google Sheets template gallery, an example of a Google spreadsheet I've made myself, which is an activity for Key Stage 1 students. You can find this linked in the description below if you want to play around with this actual activity. It's free. You can get it by clicking on that link, adding in your email, and then you get access to it. I also have two more websites here. Spreadsheet Point, an excellent website with lots of resources, and then obviously Ben Collins's website. Now, what I'd like to do is I want to group these neatly together so I can easily reference them later and also so I don't have to waste time loading websites, finding them in bookmarks, or keeping them all saved at the top of my browser. Now, to give you an example, how I use this in school is I have an admin tab with all my admin relevant documents, and then I have a week by week tab group for each of the weeks where I teach. So for example, if we're in week eight, I'll have a week eight tab, but I'm also planning week nine, which is the next week. And that has its own tab group, each with all the documents and planning documents in those groups. Let's say I am going to do just that. Well, here you can see, I can highlight this first tab. And now I have two options. I can hold down the shift key and I can select all the tabs in between those two points, or I hold down the control key and select individual tabs. I'm going to select the first two using that control key and right click. Here I can now add these tabs to a new group. I'm going to use the yellow color so I know that it's about slides. I'm going to title this slides. There we go. This will be my new tab group. What that means is I can now close these two by clicking on slides and then now tidy the way in that corner. I can do the same with docs. Let's go ahead and add this to a group. We're going to create a new group, choose blue and name this docs. And then again, do the same with the last one. We're going to close this and select all four using that shift trick, right click, add them to a new group and name this sheets. Okay, excellent. I now have three tab groups at the top. I can always open these by clicking on their names or close them. And then that way they disappear. But what we can't do is right click on these groups and save them. However, using a little trick, we can activate this functionality. Simply open up your flags. Now, in order to get access to your flags, you're going to have to open a new tab and then simply navigate to Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And then that will open up all your Chrome flags. Here you are going to search for tab groups. And what you can activate is tab groups save. So let's go ahead and activate this. We're going to enable this and then relaunch our browser. Now this has been activated. I can right click on slides and save this group. Now, what does that mean when it's saved? Well, it means that no matter which Chrome you're signed into, that tab group will appear. So if you are on a different computer and you sign into your Chrome profile, it will automatically have that tab group. When you close your Chrome profile and then reopen your browser, those tab groups will also be there. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to save this group. I'm going to do the same with the doc. I'm going to save that group and the same for my sheets group. I'm going to right click and save that group. I can now close my browser. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's reopen our browser and find those saved tab groups. I'm going to open my browser. And as you can see, those tab groups are no longer at the top but they are right here at the bottom in my bookmarks bar. Now you won't see any tab groups here unless you have your bookmarks turned on. So let's go ahead and click on the three dots and we are going to go to settings. Here under settings, we're going to go to appearance and I want to show my bookmarks bar. So let's activate this. And what do you know? Here are our tab groups. We can open up our slides group. It is added to the top open up our docs group, add it to the top, and open up our sheets group, add it to the top. 
great feature, especially if you're going to be using these tab groups multiple times throughout the day, week, or month. For example, with my admin tab, I don't need it every single hour of the day, but I do need it in the morning with registration and to find students on that list. I also need it in the afternoon for the afternoon register and I need it to access various tracking documents. For the rest of the day, I don't need access to it. Same goes for my weekly planning documents. I need my current week and my next week. I don't need two, three weeks from now until I actually work with those documents. So you can just save those in your bookmark bar as a group color coded and named. Now let's say that you want to change this, or you can simply change this up here. Right click, give it a new name. So for example, slides training, and then it will automatically update that in your saved tab groups. I hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, all the good stuff. You'll find links in the description below. And I also want to say a big thank you to all the channel members. You'll see a list of their names right here. If you'd like to become a channel member as well, scroll down and click that join button. If not, there's a subscribe button, which works just as well. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.